Good evening and salutations, my Young and the Restless fans. So, again, apologies for yesterday. Um, kind of a domino effect as far as um, my reviews coming out super late. Um, but I want to thank everyone for their patience and thank you for watching it tonight or tomorrow, depending on when you're watching it. So we're going to do things a little bit differently. Um, I guess time travel is weird. So... When I was looking for the episode of Young and the Restless, I guess I didn't put in a date. And they showed me tomorrow's episode. <laughs> they showed me tomorrow's episode. And I was watching it halfway through it. I'm like, 9.30, this doesn't really make a lot of sense. Today is 9.29. Long story short, as I'm sitting there watching it, I realized that, you know what, let's try to type it up 929. And I started watching it, I guess it's today's episode, and this is where Billy's sitting there talking to Jack about stuff, and um, Nicholas has, I guess, went to New Jersey to sit there and look into Ash, um, Ashler's past, Ashlyn's past, and I was like, you know what, I already started watching half of the episode of tomorrow's episode uh, let, let's just finish it you know especially knowing that there's a build up to today's episode that's gonna like happen tomorrow it's like you know what, let's just let's just do it so um we're gonna talk about tomorrow's episode now so if you don't want to be spoiled you should probably just like stop watching it now and then maybe watch it tomorrow but if you're choosing to stay I want to thank you and, um, let's get into it. And if I'm pronouncing this guy's name wrong, please tell me. So, Nicholas is confronting Ashler about the information that he found in New Jersey. Now, Victoria's there, and, you know, Nicholas is like, you know what, maybe, maybe you should probably, like, go or something. So, they all sit down, and he, well, Ashlyn tells about his past. The problem with his story is that I felt like he mixed in well, he obviously, I felt like he kind of lied, but he also mixed in a, a hint of truth with lie. A hint of truth with some lies. So it turns out his name is Robert. Um, and he took the name he took his name Ashler or whatever from his friend. He had this really terrible past that I would not wish on anyone as far as his dad um, pretty much really, you know, abusing him physically. And they had some, I guess, matching tattoos or whatever. But they had tat it's weird. They had tattoos of each other's, like, names on their ankles or whatever at 16 because apparently you can get, you were able to get tattoos back then at age 16. Okay, sure, whatever. Um, you know, 90s or the 80s was a wild time. Anyway, um, so long story short, he went up leaving. Um, like, he, he, he just left his dad's or whatever, and him and his friend was working these odd jobs or whatever, and he had this interview at some sort of, or at least his friend had an interview at some sort of media company. And so I guess the night before, or maybe a couple of nights before, or whatever, his friend used to drive reckless as hell. And they wound up crashing. He got ejected from the car. I guess he tried to help his friend out. His the, the um the car was like burning and stuff like that. He didn't feel the pulse. And apparently the car was about to just like blow up or whatever. So oddly his um his friend's wallet managed to make it like out of his pocket or something. He wound up getting it. And um I guess he ran away or whatever before the cops showed up. And so long story short, um his friend who had the tattoo or whatever, the cops identified the body as him. 
And that's when he was like, you know, that's a day that, you know, Ashlyn, whatever his name was, was born. He wound up taking the meeting, the interview for the job that his friend was supposed to get. And since they only talked on the phone, she just assumed that it was him. Also, apparently back in those times, they didn't really have DNA evidence. And, you know, they just went by the tattoo and his dad, you know, confirmed that it was his son because like, apparently the body was like really burnt up and damaged and stuff like that. So they just confirmed that it was him. At that point, you know, the rest of the story is pretty much whatever everyone already knows. Now, I feel like once he's finished telling the story, um, first of all, Victoria was like, why didn't you not tell me this? And I'm sitting there like, that's a really good question. I mean, you didn't really do anything wrong. Like, you tried to help out your friend. You couldn't help him out. You were in this impossible situation. And you didn't want to sit there and go back and, you know... My, my issue with a little bit of that story is that, okay, he said that he didn't want to go back. Like, he didn't want the cops finding him out. He took his friend's identity because he didn't want to sit there and be dealing with his dad and the abuse that was going on in that house. Alright, fine. So, he decided to leave, get the interview, and move on. But the problem with that is at some point, when you had enough money, you were old enough, you didn't have to be with your dad anymore, why didn't you just not tell the truth? I mean, yeah, I mean, I don't, you know, identity theft and everything like that, but I felt like he could have probably just talked his way through it with the DA or whatever, and they would have maybe given him a slap on the wrist or something like that, but like, you just went on with life, you know, as somebody else. Like, seriously, you just decide to just go on with the rest of your life as your friend's name? Obviously, I feel like there's more to the story, but she's like, yo, I can't believe you told me this. Like, I can't believe you didn't tell me this. And she walks off. Now, at some point, Ashlyn talks to her, and she's like, yo, this, this is a lot to handle. I, I still don't understand why you didn't tell me it. And he was like, oh, I felt the shame, you know, like, I always sat there and questioned, like, why didn't I not do it, and if things would have worked out differently, and I'm like, bro, I'm not gonna lie, here's the thing, I don't really, this is like my second episode watching this show, and I can tell from the start, from this second episode, that he is shady, he is extremely vague, and he's just somebody that you just don't seem like you can really trust. Oddly enough, um, I used to watch this actor way back in the day on this show called The Specialist. When it was on Channel 9. You know when Channel 9 actually had like shows? Um, I used to, I used to watch this show, I used to watch that show like all the time. So it's like, watching him now is like, man, I remember back like in the 90s or Maybe the 80s or late 80s or whatever. Um, anyway, he talks to her and she's like, you know, I just, I can't believe you didn't tell me this. And, you know, she basically is like, I need some time to just, like, process this whole thing. And he's like, you know what, take as much time as you need. He leaves. Then Nicholas comes in and now she's all pissed off at him. Like, oh, I don't understand why you had to sit there and dig through his past and this, that, and the third, and you can't sit there and judge him because he, what he did in the past and blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, yo, I think they're brother and sister. I'm like, um, what do you mean you didn't want him to dig into your future husband's past? I mean, this guy has been lying to you from day one. And you're just like, nope, it's cool. Alright, you told me now. Okay, now you told me this other thing. And now you told me that other thing. And I watched a little bit of today's episode, which, um, you know, she was sitting there talking to her mother. And, you know, she was basically sitting there telling her mother, like, in, in a subtle way, like, yo, listen, he's just been dropping these little, like, he's been, like, she seemed like she didn't really trust him without actually saying it. And, you know, her mother kind of sensed that, like, you know, so now watching this episode, I'm like, you didn't 
even seem like you really trust him that much. But you want to sit there and get all pissy with your brother for, I don't know, trying to help you out, trying to look out for you? Like, are you serious? So you're just going to sit there and just walk down the aisle with this man, and even though this man has lied to you, I'm just going to assume more than at least one hand that I can think of, and you're just like, nah, that's cool. I'm going to sit there and be upset with my brother for trying to, like, look out for me. Okay, sure. That makes sense. Um, now, what's her name? Mariah and Tess are, you know, like, eating or whatever. Like, she brung, she brung um, Mariah some food or whatever. Her mom comes in. Her name is Sharon. And Tess leaves. Now... When they start talking, when, when Mariah and, and Sharon start talking, she pretty much kind of spills the beans on, spills the beans, wow. She pretty much kind of just outs Tess and is like, yeah, you know, Tess is kind of worried, you know, because basically her mom is, is really worried about um, Mariah. And from what I heard from the subscribers and people who commented and stuff like that, this woman needs, like, therapy, right, like, like, serious therapy, and, um, you know, so she's worried, and, you know, at one point, you know, she's like, could I, could I, like, get you a psychiatrist, I know a good couple of people, whatever, that can help you out, and that's when she brings up, you know, Tess and her concerns, and, you know, she's concerned about, you know, the fact that, um, Mariah wants another baby after the stuff that happened. And she's like, oh, well, you can't really blame Tess because, you know, I was being a mother and I was prying and prying and prying. And at this point, Mariah is, well, pissed off at Tess because she's practically talking behind her back about business that she pretty much just shared with Tess. So she texts her like, yo, listen, we got to talk. And the minute she gets back in that hotel room, she's like, yo, what are you doing? Like, why are you sitting there telling my mother, you know, discussing, you know, talking to my mother about the discussion that we had about, you know, children and stuff like that. You know, like, having another child. And on top of that, she's, you know, like, I guess she kind of looked at the situation and was like, yo, she really doesn't want to have another child. Like, like, you really don't. And when I was watching it, not yesterday, but the day before, you know, Tess was like, maybe we should slow down. Now Mariah's not there thinking that she doesn't even want to have another child. Um, to have a child with her. So, that's a whole other thing. So, question. Who actually names their child Moses? Like, who does that? I'm, I'm... I, I'm just really surprised. Because at first, okay. Um, I guess Moses and some woman named Faith go out on a date or whatever. They talk about it. It's nice to have a good time or whatever. But, um... I didn't even know, okay, cause you, okay, so you got Moses that's meeting, um, Faith, and they go out on this date, but then, you know, Devin's in the room with somebody else, and I didn't even get her name until, I don't know, towards the end of the episode, I guess her name is Amanda, and, okay, I don't know who this woman's name is, who is, um, holding, I guess, the baby Dominic, I don't know her, her who her name is, Because at some point, I guess Devin or Davon talks to some woman. I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm like, I know a couple people's names. I know Jack. I know Billy now. Um, I always knew Victor, oddly. Um, they, they, got a, they got a big cast. I thought GH had, like, a huge cast, but, man... I'm not gonna lie, I feel like that was about it for the most part. Like, that was the, um, the highlight of the stuff that happened. And like I said, I'm still getting used to a lot of different names. Um, I don't know who the woman who is, um, taking care of, um, Dominic, I think that's his name. I don't know who that woman is. I know she has blonde hair, and I have no, no idea who that woman is, um... 
anyway, I think that's about it for the most part. Uh, the question that I want to sit down and ask is, um, let's say an episode comes out a day before. Like, I saw tomorrow's episode today for some odd reason. If I see, um, like, let's say tomorrow comes out and I see the episode the day before, you know, the day before. Should I talk about that episode or should I talk about the current episode that is being played that day? Um, also, I'm not going to lie, I was already halfway through tomorrow's episode. And so I didn't feel like, alright, you know, let's just go backwards and watch the stuff that's going to lead up into tomorrow's episode. So I really didn't feel like doing that. But um, if people want me to actually watch that current episode and just talk about it. And I can do that too. Um, so let me know in the comment section your thoughts on that. And with that being said, if you did actually watch it on YouTube or um, another site that I'm not going to sit there and say. But um, if you did watch it on there, let me know what your thoughts are about tomorrow's episode. It's so weird. You know, DC Sanctuary said that this show is international. And I think that would probably explain why I'm watching tomorrow's episode today. I actually wanted to make sure I was writing, writing the, um, watching the right episode. And I'm like, alright, maybe it was the episode I missed yesterday. But um, I don't feel like it's that way at all. Um, and seeing Michelle Stanford, I think that's her name, as Phyllis is something that's going to just like take a bit of getting used to. Because... I'm still used to watching her as Nina Reeves on General Hospital, so I'm just like, uh... I actually heard that Steven Burns, or the guy who plays Jason, was on this show. Uh, that's going to take a bit of getting used to. Um, anyway, with that being said, I'm going to go. I want to thank everyone for watching. Be safe. Let me know your thoughts are in the comment section below. See you in the next video. Or tomorrow's video. However they decide to time jump this stuff.